Hello Internet! I'm Hazel and this is how I beat the legendary pet Vile Blood of Draenor in Tanan Jungle. You can fight this guy once per day for a bag of fell touched pet supplies, which can include one of four new pets and other assorted goodies. You can find Vile Blood of Draenor here in Tanan Jungle. Currently, there's no quest involved, so just find him, beat him, and you'll get your stuff. In the first slot, I've got my Zandalari Ankle Render with moves set to Hunting Party, Primal Cry, and Black Claw. If you don't have one of those, I'd strongly recommend you go get one. He's awesome on almost every legendary fight in Tanan Jungle. For the second two slots, pick your favorite tanky pets to handle Vileblood's backup of the day. I'm bringing along Chi Chi with Alpha Strike, Tranquility, and Ethereal. I also grabbed the Anubisath Idol with Crush, Stone Skin, and Deflection. If you don't have those guys, you can use almost any pets with self-healing and avoidance moves. The options are endless. Okay, so make sure that you have your Zandalari Ankle Render in your top slot. And we'll go ahead and start this up. So, very simple, your first move is going to be Primal Cry. That will give you a speed advantage against the Vile Blood Adreno for a number of turns. Second turn, you're gonna wanna go ahead and cast Black Claw. Look at that, now we're faster. How magical. So, instead of Black Claw, and I think you can figure out the next move, we're gonna follow up Black Claw with Hunting Party. And look at that, we are within the range of our Beast Racial Ability, which lets us do extra damage. And the second turn of Hunting Party almost takes Vile Blood at Draenor out. Not quite. Sometimes it does, but even if he's got a little bit of health left over, that's just fine because he still has the, uh, he's still taking extra damage. He still has Black Claw up on him and he's still slower. So your one of your backup pets should be able to just finish him off. Just like that, Chi Chi goes in and smacks him with her beak. <laughs> I mean, he's cutie pie. So um, now your job is to live through the rest of the Fell Corruption of Draenor buff, or uh, Fell Corruption of Draenor, it's just, it's just Fell Corruption. <laughs> There's no extra words there. Um, with Chi Chi, I like to keep up Tranquility, uh, use Ethereal roughly on cooldown, unless there is something uh, specific that I want to block with Ethereal, in this case against this tree python there really isn't, and then just go ahead and Alpha Strike in between. Uh, if you had the Anubisath Idol out first, you'd be wanting to maintain Stone Skin, same deal with Deflection, and then fill in with Crush, it's very much the same thing. And you can do this with a great number of pets. You're not limited to these two, I just haven't really branched out that much because they're just that good. <laughs> Perfect, so. Almost done with his Fell Corruption buff, two rounds left. And the Python does weak damage against Chi Chi. There's a good number of beast type pets that are backline pets, and there's a good number of aquatic pets. Um, Chi Chi, of course, takes reduced damage from the beasts and does extra damage to the aquatics. So that's that's why I tend to use it so much. Also, she's just adorable. So I'm trying, I'm trying my bravest here to keep up my health above half so that I keep that flying buff for the extra speed. It's not really all that necessary, but you know, it's a point of honor. So <laughs> I go ahead and ethereal and uh, reapply Trank to try and get my health above half. I don't think I actually manage it. I feel like even with the reduced damage and the Velcroption buff off, he's still doing just a little bit too much damage while I'm like wasting my time trying to heal myself here. But you know, it's the thought that counts and it's not like we're in any danger of losing this now, of course. The Velcroption buff has dropped off. The worst of the danger is over. So down goes Tree Python. And we're going to use the rest of Chi Chi against the Fen Crab. Um, Alpha Strike is going to be doing some phenomenal damage against him. Chi Chi's got a pretty good attack. I mean, she's faster, you get the extra smack out of it. And of course, flying damage is going to work good. Now, of course, his backline pets can, will randomize from day to day. You won't necessarily see these ones exactly. So you can either customize your backline pets or you can just YOLO anyways. Chi Chi would have done just fine against most things, as will the Anubisoth Idol. Perfect. So, here we go, we're done. <laughs> Let's check out and see what we got in our bag of fell touched pet supplies. Here we are. So there is a Fell Touch Battle Training Stone. These are one of the reasons I'm probably going to continue to do these dailies. Um, those will add five levels to any pet. So those are a little more efficient than the ones that you get from uh, doing your menagerie daily. And that's how I do it. Check out my channel and subscribe for guides to the other Tanaean legendary pets and more. Let me know what you think and have a wonderful, wonderful day.